Prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer in men, affecting about one in nine. While prostate cancer can be cured in some men, approximately one in three men will experience what is known as recurrent prostate cancer, which is prostate cancer that has come back after initial treatment. Now, unfortunately, prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in men. About one in 41 will die from prostate cancer this year, and that's according to the American Cancer Society. The good news, there are newer imaging techniques that can help locate recurrent prostate cancer. Being able to locate the disease in the body can really help doctors personalize care for patients living with recurrent prostate cancer. And here to help us understand more about this is Dr. Jonathan Jay and his patient, Peter Irving. Welcome to both of you. Thank well, you. Doctor, let me start with you. Uh, this month, June, is Men's Health Month. So let's start with, uh, let's just start with prostate cancer and what it is. Well, we'll take a step back and start, what is the prostate? Because most people don't understand what the prostate is. Let's do that. The prostate's a male reproductive organ. And one third of the fluid that a man sees in his ejaculation comes from the prostate. The purpose of this fluid is to nourish and protect sperm until conception. It's treatable? Yes, prostate cancer is treatable. Prostate cancer in its treatable stages is asymptomatic. So it's very important for men to understand that they need to have a evaluation on a yearly basis starting at age 50, which would entail a rectal examination and a blood test called PSA. All right, so let's bring in Peter. When were you diagnosed? What happened? 2008, diagnosed um, with cancer following a uh, needle biopsy, which uh, 12 out of 13 were positive. So you were doing a routine exam, Peter? Just routine. And the PSA started to spike over a period of months. From what to what? My normal was somewhere in one five, let's say, mm -hmm. and this kept creeping up. And I think my uh, general practitioner sent me to urologist when it got to like four five. Okay. But at that time, they still did not believe I had prostate cancer. It just things just weren't what they thought they should be. That's why I went to the urologist, and then I had the needle biopsy, which confirmed which it. Which confirmed it, and then I went and had uh, surgery, had it removed and followed with the same urologist. To be checked. Yeah. All right, uh, doctor, let me bring you in. If you could define PSA for us, please, and uh, inform us of the levels uh, that happen. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen. It's a protein that's excreted solely by the prostate. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way of monitoring whether a patient has prostate cancer, develops prostate cancer, or has reoccurrence of prostate cancer. The significance of PSA is what the PSA is in an individual. In Peter's case, his PSA was one and increasing over time. That mm -hmm. was indicative that something was changing and something was wrong. Understood. So Peter, uh, you have the surgery, you're living your life, and then you have recurrent prostate cancer? What uh, well, my PSA s started to spike again. Okay. You know, in theory, you shouldn't have any PSA. Exactly. And I, I believe it was somewhere again in the ones, and then it kept rebounding and going up and up and we watched it for four years 2016 um, they decided um, to do um, radiation therapy and hormone therapy together and they concentrated on the spot they found through the new imaging and um, today I'm zero that's fantastic uh, doctor since he mentioned the new imaging it's a pet CT imaging test. Tell me what is different from this test as opposed to what is always used, I guess, uh, in, uh, in a bone scan and CT, right? Yes. So what are the differences between what was used then and what he used? So we had to define the location and extent of this disease. So conventionally, how do we do that? CT scan is a test that has the ability to survey the, the body without making an incision. We can survey the body for soft tissue changes. We can detect enlarged lymph nodes. We can detect masses within the abdominal cavity. Bone scan surveys the bone for reoccurring disease. Now think of this. With these conventional tests, you have to have a mass. A mass would be hundreds of thousands or millions of cells in one place to be detected by these conventional studies. This newer CT PET scan has the ability to define the location and extent of prostate cancer, reoccurring prostate cancer, at an earlier stage and at a lower PSA. And how does that make a difference then for the treatment? It's very important because we want to treat disease, we need to define the extent and location of disease. That dictates our treatment options. So as opposed to, let's say, affecting other organs in the body, you're minimizing the effects. Absolutely. In Peter's case, 
we were able to do a CT PET scan, localize the reoccurrence to one area within the pelvis. We were able to treat that. But we treated that with radiation or hormonal therapy. We were able to treat that without affecting any of the other organs around it. Peter, uh, you're doing fine now, right? Everything is controlled. A negative pro uh, PSA Fantastic. test for two, two plus years. So for our viewers out there, and we have lots of males, what would you say? What would be your final thoughts, your words of just wisdom? Go, uh, just have a brief, probably at the age 45, doctor. 45, 50, uh, yes. Yeah, start getting your PSAs on a yearly basis, and uh, it'll make you feel much better. Absolutely. I mean, you know, not worrying about that. Doctor, any final takeaways? One of the important things is that prostate cancer is prevalent with our community, yes, but if found early, it's a treatable medical condition. And all you have to do is a simple uh, rectal examination and a blood test called PSA with your primary care physician. If something were to happen again in the future, would you suggest again this new imaging test to him? Absolutely. If we saw increasing PSAs, the first thing that I would do is this new CT PET scan. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen, both of you, for Thank your you. time. Thank you. I'm glad you're doing fantastic. Thanks. And, of course, if you'd like more information on this new test, the PET CT imaging test, go to this website, bcrprostatecancerimaging.com. That's bcrprostatecancerimaging.com. Or just check out our website, balancingact.com.